secret what is the strategy as great as this ministry is can you imagine that until now we do not hold conferences and conventions I'm not daft I've read a lot of books about church planting we have a lot of people we have raised by the Spirit of God who are doing great things for the kingdom I'm not ignorant I tell you as to what it makes ministry work I don't claim to know everything but by the privilege of God's grace God has granted us access to the ears and the eyes and the heart of those who know how to make this thing work yet his wisdom God gave an instruction do not hold conferences do not hold conventions until I speak to you and not the size of the ministry will make me ever disobey him until he came and said go and do a conference in UK I want to glorify myself through you and look what he did you see let me tell you the part of a spiritual man is very strange except that you cannot deny the results you cannot deny the results you cannot deny the results you are a man of God. God can be leading you. You are raising others and sending them to ministry. And for you, God will say, do not start any work. Sit down. And you will feel insulted. Because if you had started ministry, you will be 10 years, 20 years, having a great ministry. People that you have raised may even be doing great. And God says, sit down. You just obey him all and stay. Watch what his wisdom keeps doing in your life. One step after the other one step after the other for some of you while you want to go somewhere god will give you a scripture and isaac sowed in that land oh abuja is too difficult i need to run away let me go back to my village and god will say no your destiny is here you can choose to disobey me or you can stay here and believe me there is something i want to teach you it's not a job i cannot give you but i am using your situation to train you there is something you need to become you need to know me as jaira hallelujah and sometimes you will stay no food in the morning but you are just praying you are not irresponsible your certificate is there lying and you are praying lord listen can i tell you every time you are tempted to complain turn your complaint to this prayer lord birth your will through this situation you have defeated that situation birth your will through this situation oh i lost a loved one this was the breadwinner in our family lord what do we do now i'm teaching you something birth your will through this situation it's an ancient formula that god taught me you don't see me praying prayers of lamentation and saying god why now <clears throat> the prayer of spiritual men is lord birth your will whether it's through your pain, whether it's through your disappointment, whether it's through your loss, whether it's through your victory. Anything you connect to the will of God no longer becomes a disadvantage. Anything, including death. You lost your loved one, father, mother, brothers, and you are there. Instead of just praying and saying, you know what, God, stop this senator from sleeping. That is witchcraft. Don't pray that kind of prayer until you know what you are saying. Why shouldn't the man sleep? He has a wife and children. Are we together? There are conditions where you pray that prayer. Most of these prayers are prayers of immaturity and selfishness and lust. You pray that I shouldn't sleep for your sake. If you mean the work of a shepherd to get up and pray, it's none of your business the time I wake up and pray for you. Just know I'm praying for you. But where you now instruct God that I should not sleep, yeah, that, that's an antichrist spirit. I'm saying that so we are careful some of these things that we say. I know what you mean. Give him no rest. I understand what you mean. But as you rise to maturity, you need to also hear what you are saying. And if what you are saying is not correct, keep quiet, re-edit your understanding. Are we together? Yeah. Hala seka subria akanduskia shalis the hidden wisdom of God 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 ordained for your glory ah. ordained for your glory ladies and gentlemen I want you to trust me trust what I'm teaching you this is how ordinary men become champions how else do you think men rise you cannot manipulate your way politically to be to fulfill destiny destiny is not politics no destiny is beyond the academia
the variables required for a man's excelling are many you need the wisdom of God to piece them together to produce victory in your life one can say yes and another variable can say no and your life is pegged at a, a point for many many decades hallelujah I believe with all my heart that one of the things that God is doing tonight is giving us profound encounters by the spirit of the living God hallelujah I want to do something very prophetic now and I want you to listen this will usher us into our prayers if I don't get I will pray for the sick and pray for everybody but it will be a quick walk tonight but I want you to listen hallelujah I went to the place of prayer and while I was praying, as I heard the word freedom, I was meditating, meditating, meditating in my spirit. And then all of a sudden, I know when that glory comes. That Shekinah just came and mantled me and covered me. I started shaking like a leaf. And all of a sudden, I found myself singing a song. I started uttering words and songs, songs by the spirit. And I said, what is the meaning of this? The song just began to come by the Spirit. And God told me that it's with this song that he's going to do many things this night. To tell you how serious it is, I'm even going to have to play the song to remember it. I wrote it down and I sent to these guys. And so that you don't think that this is something that is... is I had to do a rehearsal. And I told myself, I said, what is this? And the Lord said, I want to impart, I want to give my people the gift of wisdom. I want you to know how God works. You see, you are a spiritual man, you need to learn to discern. We are organized people, but many people cannot get into prophetic things because you do not know that songs are ladders in the spirit. Sit down, sit down. I've, I've not, listen, I'm going to play it for you. This is, I don't even, until I play it, I may not even remember it. This is before the whole world. This is me recording. Where, I don't know where this volume is. Watch this. Hold on, just a moment. So here's what it sounds like. This was under the anointing by the Spirit of God. I'm going to sing it now for you. You just listen. I receive manifest. Hallelujah. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Very simple song. It says, breathe, Lord. Manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified, 
lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Lifted up one last time now. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, Exalted, lifted up, exalted, 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 exalted. Now I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names. There are men and women who will drink of this fountain right now. I decree and declare, I want you to pick them and bring them out very quickly. Father, you gave me this song by the Spirit. And you said upon singing it, the Spirit of wisdom and power will rest upon many for their destinies. Therefore, I stretch my hands at the count of three. May this fountain break open. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Bring them out. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Breathe, Lord. Fine. 